Hi guys, welcome to The Hangout, it's Supercar Blondie. Today, we are gonna be hanging out with TV and movie star, Patrick Dempsey. Those of you who have watched Grey's Anatomy will know him as Mr. McDreamy. You took advantage of me and now you wanna forget about I it. I did not. I was drunk, vulnerable and good looking and you took advantage. Okay, I was the one who was drunk and you are not that good looking. But what you may not know is that he's a massive car fan and he actually owns his own racing team. Dempsey Proton Racing, and they actually recently won their category at Le Mans. Le Mans is like the pinnacle of racing. Dempsey Proton win in GTE Am. Christian Reed joined by Porsche Junior driver, rookies Matt Campbell and Julian Andlauer. Just before we cross to LA, here's a fun car fact for you guys. People all around the world are discovering Easter eggs in their Jeeps. Every Jeep comes with a hidden imprint or sticker. If you own a Jeep, go down tomorrow or today, whenever, as quickly as you can, try and find your hidden Easter egg. They're called Easter eggs, but they could be, for example, like this guy's. He just uploaded him finding his Easter egg on TikTok and it went viral, watch this. So I bought my first car and a fun fact about Jeeps is that they have a hidden animal which is called an Easter egg. Well, I couldn't find my Easter egg for the longest time and one day I was pumping my gas and I saw the spider coming at me and I was like, oh my God. And then I realized it's my Easter egg. Also, whoever finds the hidden message in this YouTube video will get a Supercar Blondie cap signed by me. I'm gonna sign them tomorrow. The first person who sees this hidden message Pop it in the comments section and also just put your Instagram or some way that I can contact you, email or Instagram, and I'm gonna send this baby out to you. All right, let's head to LA. Hey, hi. Hey. <laughs> so glamorous. I mean, honestly, this is the first time I've done hair and makeup for about five days, so. <laughs> I know, I showered and put on some clean clothes. Oh, well done, well done. <laughs> I showered too, so I think we're both winning at this point. Yeah. At the moment, what is the situation where you are? Well, the numbers are still coming up. I'm in Malibu, so it's, yeah. you know, if I'm not listening to the news, it's really quite nice. The weather's been beautiful, <laughs> it's beautiful, you know, and then when you look at the news, it's really quite disturbing. Yeah. But, you know, starting to relax some of the restrictions. The beaches are opening up this weekend. Okay. Which means it will be crazy out here. Have you got your bikini um, ready? I, yeah. <laughs> um, but can you, so can you leave the house at this point? Oh, that's going to be- No, I thing. never leave the house. <laughs> what I a hermit. No, well, I definitely turned into Howard Hughes, right? Everything is just <laughs> like, spray everything. When lockdown came into effect, were you filming at that point? What, what actually got interrupted? I was in New York just starting a new show called Ways and Means. Okay. Uh, we were about to do the table read and uh, the production manager, uh, producer was like, we're losing locations. This is just not sustainable. Yeah. We can't do it. And at, at that point we wrote a letter to CBS and said, we have to just shut this thing down because we're losing our locations. Yeah. We're putting people and this is in New York. So we're putting people in jeopardy. So let's yeah. just shut down. Are you okay? Your family's good? Oh yeah. Everybody's good. My daughter's, you know, 18 and graduating in two days. Wow. So that's kind of depressing for her. You know, yeah. she didn't have the prom, no graduations. So that whole generation of 2020 is really missing out on all the fun stuff. So we're going to do a drive through graduation, which will be funny. That's sort of like the California thing. <laughs> we're oh like, so what, what car? What car? Yeah, what yeah. Car? People are going to drive through in California for a graduation. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah. So this is going to be held at the school grounds and people are literally going to drive through and people, collect their yeah, graduation people, this is What I've been told is you drive through, you're oh. in your, your mask and everything and you're in your car mm -hmm. and you're driving right. through. You get your diploma and then off you go into the sunset. Okay, so what car are you going to take her there in? Well, that's the question. Is yeah. Do you want a vintage car? Do you want a modern car? What, what should we do? What's she into? She's into everything. She's mm -hmm. like old, new. Just like you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's a um, uh, Hot Wheels article. I don't know if you've seen it that lists the cars that you own. Now we're going to play true or false. I've swapped some cars around. 
Oh, okay, okay, okay. So you can just say yes was true, not don't have it anymore. But the thing is, is that I they wrote an article on me as well, and apparently I own about twenty different um, prototypes worth five million dollars each. <laughs> right on. Good. I was like, yeah, that's all true. Yeah, let's run with that. <laughs> Actually, do you know what? Should we just start with that? Let me just grab the yeah, article. Absolutely. Right, let's start with this one, the panels. The Panos is Bronte. I don't have it anymore. I did have it custom built. I got racing through their racing series. So yeah, so that opened me up into getting into some GT racing. They had a good competitive school at the time at Road Atlanta. Well, can and, you just um, explain what Panos is? Don was the guy who created the patch and made a ton of money off of that to quit smoking. That's what he, his claim to fame was. Yeah. And he loved car racing and he, and he bought a bunch of tracks like Sebring, Most Ford, Road Atlanta. And he just t dumped a ton of money in it. And his son wanted to create a car and they wanted to go to Le Mans. So they mm. created the Panos Esperante, went off mm. and ultimately won Le Mans as a manufacturer. Oh, no way. Okay, so that's how it kind of all started. Oh, that's cool. Yes. Do you own a Mercedes-Benz SLS? The, the Gullwing, the new one, I sold that. Now, my, all my cars are now Porsches. All your cars? Yeah, mostly Porsche now. It's only Porsche. So oh, when I go through this list, you're probably not going to own any of this anymore. The Lotus, you don't have that? Exige? Lotus just gave me that car to play with for a ah. month or two. Jag E-Type. Yeah, I had the E-Type V12 for a really long time. Gift uh, from my wife. Okay, so the Jag E-Type's gone. Then obviously this one, the Mercedes SL Roadster is gone as well, right? Ferrari days yeah. are gone. Um, yeah. You've got that. Have you got the 1982 Porsche 911? Yes. What about the GT3 RS? Have you got that? The GT3 RS, which is the one with the black and the, the orange, or the brown yeah. and orange. That car I sold too. I sold that car to go to Le Mans. I was like, I got to go. So I was like a little short on cash. So I was like, okay, well, <laughs> let, me, let me sell a couple of cars to get there. <laughs> Some Porsches had to go. Yeah, fair enough. Do you reckon that you could have gotten into car racing if you had never been an actor before? Because honestly, we all know racing cars is is really expensive. Um, just yeah, I think it would have been really hard to, to, to be able to do it at the level I was doing at unless you have a lot of support. Yeah. Uh, or you just have deep pockets. To race the mall is very expensive. In, in all the races getting up to it, the series to be able to race in a, a series that has multiple classes and all of those things. No, I mean, that was a great blessing with, the, with fame came racing. Yeah. At what point did you start racing? Were you on grays at that point or was that... Before or after? It was all sort of ramping up simultaneously. Like Grace was happening as well as the racing. It was all sort of escalating at the same time. Yeah. Um, I've heard that you don't mind being called McDreamy because that's just how it is now. That's kind of goes along with your identity, right? Uh, at this point, yeah, there's not much I can do to fight no. it. No. <laughs> you can't just like swap people down on the street when they call you McDreamy. <laughs> Come over there. <laughs> Come just say that. Exactly. It wouldn't really work. But um, you've got a new show out, Devils, and you are a CEO of an investment bank. I don't know what's going on in your mind, but I'm not the enemy. Do you reckon right. that you can get a new nickname from that show to replace yeah, Dreamy? Are you thinking of one? I'm thinking maybe a Mr. McMoney. <laughs> That's the terrible name. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you're telling me that you'd rather keep McMoney, McMoney over McMoney, huh? <laughs> McMoney. McMoney's the way to go, McMoney. How was it filming the show? Did you have fun? Yeah, it was great because we shot Half of it in Rome, and then the other half was in England. Uh, it's a financial thriller. Uh, takes place around the crash um, and sort of talks about what happens from the European perspective during the crash, the economic crash in 2008. Oh, I see. What are you keeping busy with at the moment besides, you know, um, you're showering once a day and... That's oh, a lot of work. Just like playing Lego. Just the thought process, getting yeah. ready to go, jumping in the shower. It's Getting exhausting. out of bed for me takes about two hours at this point. And you're, I'm sore too when I get out of bed eventually. <laughs> the grocery shopping, doing dishes or cooking. And then, and then the cycle of laundry begins. 
<laughs> so, okay, so when's your YouTube channel starting? Uh, Patrick Dempsey, put the phone. <laughs> I don't put it on anymore at all. It's just it, the meetings. It's going to yeah, be a hit, mate, a huge hit. I don't know, avocado on toast or something, that might be a hit. Pop it on YouTube, yeah. see how it goes. In more serious topic, um, Le Mans. Yeah. In, yeah. <laughs> We can, we no, can talk about toast year. all day. Like, Indy's not happening this year. It's being moved. Everything's being moved to August. And it's strange because it was every spring. It's your pilgrimage to either do Mon the Monaco Grand Prix, Indy, or Le Mans. Yeah. And to change that, it's, uh, it's so surreal. So Le Mans has been postponed now till September. So how are you guys preparing? Have you been able to prepare at all? Keep your racing skills up? What's I think everybody's doing their training and uh, you know, you do your, your training or running or whatever you can do in your, wherever you are in the world. Yeah. Cycling, trying to stay in shape and no one's in cars right now. If you guys don't come out of lockdown soon, is that something you'd actually pull out of altogether? I think it's going to be hard for people to pull out, you know, with the sponsorship and things like that. We're going to have to do something, whether it continue on in the iRacing and, and, and doing stuff on the virtual space, things like that. I don't know what it is, but they're going to have to activate something for the sponsors where that money's going to go away and those teams are going to fold. Yeah, yeah. Well, we'll just have to wait and see, I suppose, as you said. No, I wanted to know, do you keep some of your cars there at your home? Yes, I have two cars here. I have the 356, which I have had since I was... 18 and then the 280 the the mercedes can you take us into i'm cleaning your the garage you're not going into the garage no, no. way <laughs> damn it okay no worries we'll take your word for it you got those two cars in there middle of the garage <laughs> all right i dream for one of those like cool car garages that i can yeah, have. I know. I've seen some oh epic God. ones where there's an elevator straight down into the garage and then all of the, there's mirrors. The whole garage has, is coated with mirrors so that when the lights go on at the top, it's reflected in all the mirrors and on all of the cars. And then behind that, they actually have a bar where they can invite their visitors in and you just sit at the bar and look at all the cars. Unbelievable. Okay, here's a, a quick fire round for you. What car would you take to run to the shops with which car the Taycan yep. would be good the all new Taycan the Taycan is great the electric car is great what one would you ferry the kids around in same one <clears throat> you could do the same one because they like the acceleration they all like freak out when you accelerate yeah what car would you take for a long drive long drive yeah Oof. I like the Panamera okay. um they're Gran Turismo yep Okay, and then what would you take for a quick thrill? Oh, you do the GT3, definitely, in yeah. the canyons. Yeah, really nice. That's it. There, timed out. You're off the hook. You can go back off now to whatever it was you were doing. I don't know, are you learning a new skill now or something, or? Uh, dishes, I'm learning really to enjoy dishes and embracing <laughs> the cleaning. As a meditation. Hey, do you want to join me on Fortnite one day? Because that's, you know, <laughs> that's all I'm doing. My son's on Fortnite constantly. I hear these epic battles and yeah. screaming. <laughs> it's so, a basically, I'm playing <laughs> against five-year-old kids when I'm on Fortnite. And it's just, I don't know. <laughs> I think maybe I need to get a new hobby. Hey, um, Patrick, sorry, I forgot to ask you something. I think people listening would be very interested in this. If... Uh, someone is wanting to be a, an actor and have the kind of success that you've had. What would be your one tip to give that person watching right now? Yeah, good question. You know, what do you want to do to become a professional actor? I think now with the technology that we have, all disciplines, if you can get into writing so you can create material for yourself and you know yourself better than anyone, yeah. um, create your own content, you know. So understand that. Understand the technical side with the cameras and then read, you know, read as much as you can to understand story and narrative and put all those together. Uh, because you see the careers that are really, that have great longevity or very powerful, they're doing all of those things. They're taking, they're directing, they're writing, and they're starring in their own. Yeah. And then go to the good universities. Okay. Know? Study in England or go to, you know, you go to Rada Central and then also to uh, Yale and uh, back east in, in, in the States. Yeah. Uh, Carnegie Mellon's another good theatrical school, that college that you can go to.
Why do you think that's important for connections or do you actually think that you can learn to become an excellent actor through that school? I think there's a lot of really good technique that comes out of that stuff. That certainly the, the networking, the pedigree really helps you and just gives you a starting block. You know, it gives you a nice foundation to start with. Same question, yeah. but for your other love, which is racing cars, someone watching now and they want to become a professional race car driver. Uh, what would you say to them as, you know, your biggest tip? I think iRacing right now is really good because it, it's the simulation of the tracks. You'll learn the tracks that way. Not everybody can sort of use that um, skill set, but sometimes I get, I get motion sickness when I use it. So it's not something yeah. for me, but a lot of people really use it. And karting is a really efficient way to get into to, to racing without spending too much money. And then you slowly get into it, but do the proper racing school. So you get the fundamentals and then you can kind of go from there, I think is the best way. Yeah, we're good to go. Oh, I know. I'm we're not used to this helmet face helmet though. I can't move, Patrick. I can't. I don't know. <laughs> I'm even scared actually. <laughs> I've never been strapped in this tight. I don't know. Patrick must have something going on. Uh. So what kind of speeds are we going to get up to? You I know what? I don't know. I haven't really been paying attention. I'm just still learning the track. Yep. Oh, is this the first time? Uh, this yeah, I've never been oh, here you're doing man you're a real pro <laughs> it's been that a while but it's fun huh i think you got one cone though just watch out for that last cone uh, i don't corner. know if it was uh <laughs> was it me or him i don't know <laughs> just the cones away. are always in the way anyway i know why don't we just get rid of them all <laughs> don't need cones do you you don't need cones. surely not but... all right patrick thank you so okay, much now. you're a champion it's a pleasure thank you thank We'll catch you later because it's late now. It's 9.15 here and I've got lots of wine to drink, so. <laughs> That's the tough thing is being disciplined at home. Ah, <laughs> yeah. ah. Exactly. It's not working I so know. well for me. <laughs> <laughs> Don't lie to me. You're about to go and have a mimosa, I know. Yeah, it's what time is it here? Oh, yeah, it's 10. It's definitely It's time. mimosa yeah, time, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, well, he marries at mimosa right now. <laughs> Brilliant. I have to wait two more minutes. No worries. Yeah. You can pull through, mate. I'll make it. We'll see you. <laughs> Take care. Bye, Bye, Patrick. Bye. Have a good one. All right. Thanks so much for hanging out with me, guys. Really appreciate you. Make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you haven't yet, give the video a quick thumbs up. That's it. Until next time. Love ya. Bye.